Welcome again to another video presentation of uh, PCB Heaven project. Now in this video I will demonstrate my UV exposure box and you can find the complete circuit schematics and uh, the whole uh, work log from this project in my website this is www.pcbheaven.com Okay now unlike the other exposure box that I have this one I used in this one uh, UV LEDs instead of UV lamps because they are more reliable and I just wanted to test the results and I'm very very excited with it, actually very pleased I had some very good results with this box and I will use this I use it actually all the time so you can see that I have two LED plates because I want this box to work also with double sided PCBs and this is how it works this is a thick piece of glass 8 millimeters thickness and it goes here now suppose that this is a PCB goes over the glass, this is the artwork, goes over the PCB and I have another piece of glass this one that goes above above the, the artwork and keeps the artwork firmly on the PCB this is a normal process actually for such an operation ok now let's see the controller circuit this is the most important this is the controller let's go closer ok now this is the controller this is the main switch this is the uh, red LED that indicates when the, uh, there is a, a PCB inside in process this is the operation a green LED that indicates that there is power on the circuit this is the rotor encoder with a, clink, with a click function that sets all the parameters and scrolls through the menus and this is the start button so let's turn this thing on and as you notice the first time that it's turned on it runs a quick lamp test, self test to show that everything is ok and then you must use your imagination now try to use your imagination here right ready this means that the box is ready for operation with the button on the of the um, rotor encoder I can scroll through the menus there are three menus actually the first one is the time menu this is a T and this is the time in seconds from this menu you can set the exposure time and when the when the operation starts this time will be uh, decreased until it goes to zero and when it goes to zero the lamps will automatically turn off and you will hear a beep from the circuit there is a beeper inside so with the, to change the time you, you use the rotary encoder you can decrease the time you can increase the time and so on ok now the second menu is the enable menu what is this menu ok now this is the PCB this one here is the PCB so this is the top plate this is both plates enabled and this is the bottom plate from this menu you can choose which plate will operate will take part so now only the bottom plate will be turned on and this means that you have one single sided PCB with the artwork on the bottom side in this uh, setup you have again single sided PCB with the artwork on the top side and here you have a double sided PCB 
And the third menu is the power menu. This is the power of the LEDs. Actually, I use all the time 100%, but you can decrease for some reason if you want a very sensitive exposure, or I don't know, for a reason. I have just included this function and this is the this indicates the uh, duty cycle that the LEDs are driven with ok now I have also add a save load function with 9 memory positions because you may have different materials or different setups you don't need every time to come here and select the time, select the, the the top or bottom or anything. You can just load your setup. To do this, you click and you keep pressed the rotary encoder and you go to the sub menu. This is load. You can select load or save. For example, let's select save you click once and you select one of the 10 positions from 0 to 9 0 up to 9 there are 10 positions for example I will save this to position number 3 I select 3 I click and keep pressed the rotary encoder and when I read done this means that the setup has been saved to position number 3. The same operation is for the load. I press and keep pressed. I go to load. I click. I select, for example, number 1. I press and keep pressed. And I'm back to the... I have loaded the, the first, the second memory position. This, this is number 1. I can load again the previous setup I think I saved it in position number 3 yes 875 seconds so when upon startup every time the controller loads position 0 this is a default position whatever you save in this position will be loaded every time that the controller is turned on so Maybe you want to save your most uh, frequent uh, setup. For me, this is 995 seconds. Single sided PCB facing top 100%. Okay, now this is the starting button, the start button, and to start the operation, you you cannot just click. You have to click and keep pressed for three seconds. And you can see now that the top plate is turned on and uh, the, this LED is turned also on because you usually work like this the UV light is not very good for the eyes ok now let's see what will happen when uh, the time goes to zero I can decrease the time I, I think there is a minimum time that I can go but I don't remember actually I will go manually down to 100 seconds seconds yes this is the minimum 10, 10 seconds is the minimum and I can have both plates turned on 100% duty cycle I can start okay now you see that both plates are turned on and this is the countdown and when it goes to zero You hear the beeper, the plates are turned off and 
you're ready to go. That's it. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit our website for more interesting projects and circuits.